Welcome to Rampage Design Group everyone, I'm Max and today we're installing some LED interior lights in our brand new job trailer. So these are cheap lights, they're under 20 bucks on Amazon, they are super bright and they're easy to install so let's get this started. I'm starting this project by actually removing the original light inside the trailer. I'm removing this because this is where the 12 volts from the vehicle or truck that's plugged into the trailer is coming from. So I'm going to tap into this wiring for the new lights. I'm going to have to remove some trim at the top of the trailer to be able to run the lights. I will tell you, when you look at the screws, you're going to be like, what kind of bit is this? It's actually a number two square bit. So keep that in mind because the bit looks like a star bit, but no stars will fit it. As you see on the, the interior light, these companies use these cheap blue connectors that they just pinch down on the wires. I absolutely hate these things. They do not stand up to elements, which at least on this trailer it is on the inside. But I, I'm going to cut these out and re-solder everything so that'll never be a problem. I'm installing all these lights with the metal brackets they come with. They just pressure fit the light inside and there's just one screw in the metal bracket. So I'm going to measure all those out and mount all the lights throughout the trailer. So right now I'm drilling a hole for the new switch panel and I'm gonna run a couple wires to it, one for the lights, and then I'm actually gonna install some exterior LED lights too, so there's gonna be a wire for that, Then there's gonna be the positive main feed coming into the box. I'm going to be stripping all these wires and then soldering them together and I'm putting a heat shrink tube over it so it'll all be nice and heat shrunk and be nice and clean looking. I'm just using a standard soldering gun for this. I mean you could also use wire connectors. Those would work equally as good. I just prefer solder because I think it's more professional and holds up better over time. Now that I tapped into the 12 volt power feed from the light, I'm going to reinstall that light because I do still want this light, still a usable light. So I'm going to reinstall that and next I'm going to work on getting the switch panel installed. So each light's going to need wires running to it obviously, so I'm going to, the back two lights of the trailer I'm going to tap into each other and one, one wire all the way to the switch panel and then the front two lights since they're close to the switch panel I'm just going to run a separate wire from each light to the switch panel. I'm just zip tying all the wires up to the ceiling steel cross members just to keep them out of the way make them look nice and tight. Now that I got all the wires run, I'm going to pull them all into the box so I can wire them all to the switch. Alright, so now that I got all the lights put in, I'm just showing how the wires are running. They're all going to run back to the switch panel. And then we're going to tie all the positive feeds from the lights into the switch. Now, a couple things to note. I'm not a super big electrical guy, I'm also not a mechanic, but I have wired a lot of trailers. So definitely wanna make sure red stays positive, black stays negative, or else you're gonna short some stuff out. Also putting a fuse in there would not be a bad idea. I'm not running an inline fuse in this because obviously most vehicle, or all vehicles do have fuses in them. So that's how we're doing this. So now that's all, all the main wires are run, I'm gonna reinstall all the trim in the trailer, get things back looking good. And then I'm going to install the switch panel. So this switch panel, they do sell these on Amazon. I actually 3D printed this, custom designed it for four switches. We're only using two switches. We're going to use one switch for the interior lighting. And then I installed two backup lights that I'm going to use a switch for. I made it fit four because I'm sure at some point I'm going to find more gadgets to install in this trailer. So I like to have a couple extra spots for more accessories. So as you'll see, I have three positive wires here on the right side, the red wires. So one of those is for the interior lights, the other's for the backup lights, and then one more is actually for the backup lighting for the truck. That's because the backup lighting on this trailer, I have it wired to a switch, and I also have it wired to the truck, so when I put the truck in reverse, the lights come on. 
for the interior lights, I'm just wiring it to one switch. The main interior light that was originally there, I'm leaving that where you can just toggle that on and off. That does not come on with the switch. We'll leave the link in the below for the interior lights and the exterior lights. At the end of the video, you'll see the exterior lights. Those are Nylite LED pods. They work really great and they're super bright at night, so I do recommend those. We'll see how they stand up over time. They are pretty cheap, so and the reviews are decent, so we shall see what happens. So before I put the switches in, I'm just running back and forth, making sure all the lights turn on, making sure everything's working. Then I'm going to snap the switches into the panel. So I got these lights installed. I will tell you the camera doesn't really do it justice, but these things are super bright and light up the trailer on the inside really good. They're under, night, they're under 20 bucks out the door. Highly recommend. We shall see how they last over time. But for under 20 bucks, can't beat that. So if you need this in your trailer, we'll have the link down below for Amazon. Stay tuned for more trailer stuff coming. We just got this job trailer, so it is not set up how we want yet. We're working on it though. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.